Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, and my website is robinbremer.net. And today, I want to share with you something again that the Lord shared with me just the other day, and it got me excited. And I said, "Ooh, I can't wait to tell them about this." And it's in Isaiah 42, uh, one actually through through what through eight, but I'm not going to read all of it. Um, in 42.1 it talks about I put my spirit upon him and he'll bring forth justice to the Gentile. It says he'll bring forth justice for truth. He'll establish justice on earth. And then he says that he has called us righteousness and he's given Jesus as a covenant to the people. A light to the Gentiles to open blind eyes. Take people out of prison. And <clears throat> those who sit in darkness out of the prison house. And he's saying that this is what Jesus is supposed to do. And he says in my glory I will not give another. And basically what he showed me is and I got really excited about this, is what he showed me is that when you think that you get saved by the blood of Jesus, but you stay saved by your own works, you are taking God's glory. When you, um, when you think, okay, the blood of Jesus saved me because, you know, he died for my sins and he saved me, but now in order for me to stay saved, I have to, I have to stop sinning. I have to do this, I have to pray, I have to go to church, I have to tithe, I have to do this, I have to do this, and I have to do this. And if I mess up, you know, I have to come to the altar and repent because I'm going to go to hell otherwise. Well, God said that you are stealing His glory by thinking that you have to, by works and obedience, keep yourself from going to hell. He said, when I was praising and worshiping in church the other day, he says, my blood is enough. Isn't that awesome? My blood is enough. And he doesn't want to give you glory for staying saved. He wants the glory for keeping you saved because you're saved uh, through the blood of Jesus and you're in Jesus and the Holy Spirit is in you. And he wants the credit, not by you, not by your works. And so I thought that was really exciting and really important that he doesn't want to give you glory for staying saved. Oh, I'm staying saved because I'm such a good person. I went to the altar five times yesterday. I prayed six hours. I fasted. I gave my life to the poor. I walk in love. I am going to heaven. Well, what did you need Jesus for? He didn't just save you and then, you know, let you go and you do what you, you do everything to stay saved. It's like, it's like Jesus is a bucket. And in order to get saved, you have to be in this bucket. Well, once you're in the bucket, you're saved. Okay? You're not going to hop out of the bucket and get unsaved and hop, hop into the bucket. You're in the bucket. The bucket saved you. The bucket kept you from getting in the mud and everything else. You're in Him. Okay? And you're going to stay in Him. That's how you stay saved, because you're in Him. Not because you're in doing your own works, getting your own glory. So I hope you got that. I hope that gets you excited like it does me. And my name is Robin Bremer. Uh, .net is my website. Check out my books. Check out my website. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.